Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. We're here with my son, still, that's very good. Well, look at this stuff over here. Yeah, look at this white stuff we got here on the hood. And guess who I'm blaming for it? Trucker Jukebox. Who else is to blame for it? He was the one saying that yesterday I was going to get snow. So I'm blaming you 100% Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, but in the meanwhile, we're going to do a pre-trip inspection. So my partner YouTuber over here, he's going to be my uh, cameraman today. So he's going to be holding the camera while we do this. So let's get to it. There we go. We'll open up the hood, we'll check the brakes, check the oil. There we go. Just got that one loose. show you guys a little bit on how to do an inspection well, probably won't be a hundred percent the way it's supposed to be done but at least I'll give you guys an idea Checked oil. Oh yeah, we're still in good shape. All right. Let me grab the camera for a second. All right. So we'll look at our brakes. Everything looks good over here. The spring looks good. The shock looks good. Our tire is good. You're always supposed to check the slack of the. Uh, steering everything looks good and this is what i wanted to show you guys a little bit this is the front of my engine here uh, and it's uh, seeping through a little bit with oil eh? so you can see over there and that's what i want to get fixed next week yeah this is uh, what i wanted to get fixed last week already but uh, they just did not have enough time for uh, for doing that but just checking all my lights on top of there so let's go around to the other side, check everything on the other side, check the truck lights, they're all working, yeah, kick the tire, check this side of the brake, yeah, everything looks pretty good in there, yeah, those are actually almost brand new brakes, I only installed them last September, yeah, everything looks good underneath here, alright, alright. My cameraman is going to take over from here. We're going to do the rest on the other side. So what I have in here is a uh, a bolt cutter. Most of uh, the Canadian guys they do have a bolt cutter. I do is uh, I'm closer. I step it right there on the brakes, and I put it right against my uh, right against my seat. So you can see right there. I put my four-way flashers on. Let's go check the four-way flashers. My light up there is working. Kick the tires. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see my brake lights is on. Yeah, my single light is working. Yeah, that's how we do a pre-trip inspection, man. Look 
underneath there, everything looks good. Yeah. Now climb underneath here, check these brakes. Oh, they look very nice. They still look in good, uh, good order. Usually if you look at them like that, as long as they're not uh, backwards, they are not out of the adjustments. This is the ABS light, that one don't need to be on. Lights are good. You see my brake light is working. Single light is working, license plate light is working. Lights up there are working. Make sure my seal is still intact. Yep, these side the lights are working too. Yep. Yeah, check this side of the bricks. Yep. Everything is looking good. I think we're pretty much in good shape today. Kick these tires. I got a request a while back ago already from a uh, YouTuber to uh, check, uh, do a do a pre-trip, you know. Yeah, look at these brakes. They're looking just fine. Looking underneath everything. Yep. Well, everything uh, seems to check out pretty good. Single light is working good. That's good. That's the way it's supposed to be. Kick these tires, they're all looking fine. Climb underneath here a little bit, have a look at those brakes. Yeah, they're all good. And the tractor doesn't, uh, the single lights don't blink when, uh, when I have the brakes put in, you know. Single light is working on this side. Yeah. So everything was looking pretty good this morning. So I guess we'll uh, close everything up and uh, get back on the road. So we'll see you down the road. There you have it. Now you have a rough idea on what we have to do every morning to do a uh, pre-trip inspection in the morning. That's probably not, you know, not 100% exactly how you're supposed to do it. You're actually supposed to climb underneath your truck and check your brakes. Like measure them, that's what I mean. But generally if you're a fairly good driver or been doing it for a while, you usually can see when the brake is out of adjustment. You can usually tell like I was explaining, trying to explain to you guys there when that uh, slack adjuster is uh, a certain uh, amount far back, that's when you uh, when you uh, know Turn that right your uh, brake is out of adjustment, so uh, I generally don't get underneath there and actually measure it, at least I go under and look at them, you know. Well, let's see how slippery this road is going to be. Yeah. It's not a good sign right now. But we'll see, I guess. Hopefully we'll drive through this stuff. The sun is actually shining over there, so... Anyways, we'll get on down the road and... Hope you guys have a good day. I certainly will. Guys, we are just about to enter Manitoba. Yeah, look at that. Here it is. Entering Manitoba. Crossing border. Entering Manitoba. Yeah, entering Manitoba. That's right. And the scale is closed. Yeah, that's some good news. They're open quite often, so good thing they're closed today. That way we don't need to waste time to go in there today. And guess what else is new? I don't know. Well, our friends in Winnipeg have invited us to come for lunch. Yeah! Isn't that sweet of them? Yep. They always
always got good food, so. Yeah, they always got very good food, yeah. So that's awesome. We will, uh, my wife is coming to Winnipeg anyways to pick Diego up. And uh, then we'll go over to our friend's place and have, have lunch with them. Yeah, at least have somewhat of an Eastern weekend. Yep. Don't have a lot of other uh, Eastern plan, Eastern weekend plans, but at least we got that. Then, as you can probably see on the camera, it's snowing here a little bit. It has been light flurries here all morning. We got like just enough to cover the ground, pretty much. That's all we got, and uh, I know for you guys that are new to my channel or whatever, the, uh, you guys have probably heard me talking about Trucker Jukebox a few times already, and I always keep forgetting to mention to you guys that uh, if you look down below in the video, underneath the video, there's actually a description box there. And if you are on a desktop version, you click on see more. I have a whole bunch of stuff written in there and links and stuff like that. And uh, Trucker Jukebox's YouTube link is right in there as well. So I would uh, recommend you guys go check him out. He's a very uh, down to earth guy. He's a very nice guy. Yep. He's got two dogs with him. Pooh Bear and Jake Craig. Yeah, Pooh Bear and Jake Craig, and uh, he makes very nice videos himself. Yep. So uh, go check him out. If you don't uh, want to search for it in the YouTube search bar or whatever, then just click on my description box down there below and uh, click on the link, and it takes you right to this channel. So go check him out and. Uh, Hopefully you will enjoy his channel too. I know I do. I do. Me and him, we have become pretty, pretty good friends, and uh, we uh, we have each other's channel uh, links on each other's description boxes, just so that if you know whenever we talk about him or whatever, then uh, you can go down there and you can find him real easy. Anyways. We are making our way to Winnipeg. We got uh, 135 kilometers until the perimeter around Winnipeg. And just about a mile before the perimeter, that's where we got a truck stop. That's where we're going to stop. So 135 miles, I mean 135 kilometers. That's about 60. Probably about 80 miles, yeah, a little bit over 80, probably about 83 miles to Winnipeg, so about an hour and a half we should be, uh, she should be at that truck stop, you know. Anyways, we'll continue on rolling, hope you guys enjoy my vlog, I know it's not the same every day and that's what we're trying to do, not have it the same every day. One day it might be a lot of driving, one day it might be a little bit of music in there, one day it might be driving along with my son, and one day it might be just me being bored, and <laughs> whatever it is, you know. Some days there is funny drivers on the road, and trying to get everything, you know. Whatever it is, whatever our daily life is, we try to record. Hope you guys do enjoy it. I know a lot of you do, but you know. Anyways, well, it looks like the sun is starting to come out. Yep. Mom always says when it's raining and while the sun is out, uh, a fox and a rabbit are getting married. Oh, okay. It's just a mess, though. Alright, all guys, we are here in Winnipeg. We had ourselves a nice uh, lunch with our friends and it's pretty much time to say goodbye to this guy right here and uh, 
You gonna say goodbye to the viewers? Yeah. For now? Yeah. Bye. So guys, be safe out there. Especially for the truckers. And uh, I will still continue on today, but uh, he's going home, so yeah. have a good time at home. Yeah. And we'll see you probably on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So we're standing here. We got my loaner. We were just, I was sitting here watching his video, yesterday's video, and I, I look up and there he is in the fuel aisle. What a coincidence, man. Yeah, well, switch hands here. Jason, nice to meet you. Yeah. I uh, don't know you personally, but uh, certainly is a nice pleasure meeting you here. Uh, and as you as you probably heard him say that he uh, he walked up to me and I was on the phone with Jukebox. Yeah. <laughs> he said he actually just finished watching my video, so... Uh, I figured I would ask him uh, what, what he's been up to, you know? Oh, we've just been working, man. Just been working. Yeah? Running around like a chicken with her head cut off. It's what we do. <laughs> it's what we do. Wow. Wow. All Let's right. Can. Yeah. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe turn this a little bit around so the sun doesn't blind us too much, you know? <laughs> yeah. But So you said you, uh, you're off to Wisconsin, eh? Yeah, Milwaukee. I guess, well, we're not supposed to deliver till Tuesday. Okay. I'm gonna try and kick it off on Monday to see if they'll let me. Nice, nice. Because then that's an extra day I don't gotta sit. And I've, I've been out since the 12th of March. Okay. I haven't gone home since the 12th. Wow. <laughs> so this wow. is this is my trip to get me home. So I'm kind of trying to push here a little bit. Okay. Right? Where do but, you live? Uh, London. London, Ontario. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm off to Edmonton, as you uh, you probably know. Yep. And uh, we got some snow this morning in Dryden there. Uh, I don't know if you got any coming this way. But. There was uh, from about Baldoni to pretty much the provincial line. They okay. got a little bit of snow last night. Okay. Nice, nice. So the roads were wet. They're a little slippery in a few spots this morning. Everybody got all scared because they've yeah. had a couple of days of nice weather and they've all forgotten how to drive already. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so you said you were at the truck show, eh? Yeah, yeah, I was down in Louisville there for all three days. Well, two and a half days. I had to leave early on Saturday. Wow. Can you tell me a little bit about the truck show? Because I'm planning on going there next year myself, and just so I can uh, have an idea on what to expect. It... <laughs> Start practicing now. Practicing for what? Walking. Walking. And lots of walking. This year, there was 1,063 vendors. Wow. <laughs> um, the Kentucky, the, you, we park at the Papa John's Cardinal Stadium, which is five miles away from the actual exposition center. Okay. There's a shuttle that runs you back and forth. Oh, nice. Uh, but when you're there, it's it's a walk, man. And okay. it like, we I was there for two and a half days, and I didn't even see it all. Wow. What's this guy doing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, I guess he just figured you back up a little bit. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Yeah, but there's, there's, there was a lot that, that we didn't see. Like, I was down there with Jerry, Big Rick Talk, uh -huh. and uh, by, by the end of Friday, we're both stumbling. We got jello legs going on because we're, <laughs> we're not used to walking this much, man. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's uh, it's been certainly a pleasure running into you. Certainly, I'm, I'm thank you for uh, coming up to me there. Yeah, and nice. if you guys ever see me somewhere, uh, don't be shy to come up to me and, and say hi. I, I will take my time and uh, I'll, uh, I'll meet up with you guys and, uh, and, uh, and talk. I'll do maybe a little video if you guys are up for it. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always open, man. Uh, my YouTube is uh, Your Canadian Trucker. Spelled, your Canadian Trucker. Yeah, spelled Your CBN for Canadian. Okay. And then Trucker. Okay. At the end there. So as if any of you guys have watched Jerry's videos in the past, uh, he calls me a part-time youtuber okay um, I try to stay as steady as possible but there's time there's sometimes where it's it gets hard for me to put up videos simply because of my mobile internet connections right yeah well that's what I'm always running into and that's why my videos are seven days behind because I'm limited to actually it was just about uh, two weeks ago I want to get my over here 
about two weeks ago, YouTube finally gave me the scheduled uploading, so now I can upload multiple at a time and have them oh. released on certain dates. Oh, okay. They didn't allow you to do that until now? No, so for a while, I was just putting them up when I can and when I had internet at that truck stop. But like tonight, I'm probably going to be putting up about four or five and oh, okay. just, just releasing them, right? Yeah. So, it, yeah, it was about two weeks ago they finally gave it to me. Okay. I don't well, know. I don't know what the issue was, but... Wow. Yeah, no, that's weird because I've always been able to uh, schedule the uh, schedule the, the videos. And guys, this is a little bit behind the scene, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We talk about whatever the, the topic comes up, right? Yep. <laughs> this day has certainly been very interesting to me because I uh, I just left Dryden this, this morning and, uh, and I have, you know, I, I'm a little bit low on hours and... Uh, so I have to take it a little easy going to Edmonton, so I figured... Oh, are we, are we playing the gain-a-day, lose-a-day routine? Yeah, basically I'm on the uh, recap system right yeah, now, so yeah. uh, <laughs> I uh, I figured I'd take it a little easy. My son was with me this whole week, so you're going to get to see that next week. Oh, right And on. Uh, because of, you know, spring break, uh, school spring break. Oh, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, so uh, I dropped him off over here earlier, and my friends invited me for, for dinner, I mean for lunch, and... Uh, we had a great time over there and just slept, you know. And lo and behold, I'm running into Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I will, I will check his channel out, and I will probably leave the link down below for you guys to uh, to check him out. And uh, I'll certainly check you out. I, I haven't uh, checked your channel out, so yeah. I'll certainly check it out. Well, I appreciate it, man. The more, the better. I, you yeah. Know, like I said, I'm I'm open, guys. If you see me running around now, now usually <laughs> I'm not running around with one of these behind me. Yeah, like he's he's running a Penner trailer and he actually doesn't drive for Penner. <laughs> no, it, it's it's funny because uh, this is only about the second or third time I've, I've pulled one of these, but it's funny because coming across, like I don't drive, I don't work for Penner, but whether it's east or west, every truck I've seen that a Penner, they've all waved at me, every single one. <laughs> they don't so really. They don't realize the truck is a different company. They just yeah. see the trailer, right? Yeah, so what company do you actually work for? Uh, I work for Morris Transportation Morris. out of Windsor. Oh, okay. Windsor, Ontario? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Small company. We only got about 80 highway trucks. Okay. About 30 or so day cabs. Nice. Nice. But we are, we are growing. And we are and we are heavily work, uh, looking. We just got a whole bunch of new work, so. Oh, nice, nice. Well, I think that's going to do it for now. Yeah. And uh, we'll shake hands. Thank you for meeting me. No problem, man. Thanks for making a short video with us. Well, guys, the day is over for me. I am ready to go to bed. I just finished editing uh, one video together for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. It was certainly a very, very fun and interesting day for me meeting a new uh, subscriber and uh, fellow youtuber as well i hope you guys will uh, check his video out and all that good stuff because i'm going to leave the link down below in the description box and so you can go check him out yeah so that was uh that was nice to run into him but we are in uh, Mooseman, Saskatchewan right now. And I'm ready for bed. So we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>